So Roblox has released a huge update for the attachments which is kind of a game changer since they don't have to be parented to a base part anymore. You can basically just parent them under anything now. But yeah, I'm going to be overviewing everything in this video. So as usual, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and let's just get to it. But first I kind of need to show how to enable this feature and it's by going to the file then beta features right here and then scrolling down to the detach attachments on top right here where you just want to enable this one press on save and then restart studio okay and what exactly is going to change and visually is not going to be anything but right now if i try to add an attachment instance under the workspace it's going to actually be right here and this is something that previously you were not able to do and for whatever reason i am unable to select any of the tools on top so hold on a second and even after restarting i'm not able to well press on them <laughs> even the keyboard shortcuts aren't working how i love roblox studio but yeah anyway back to the attachment thing so yeah we can also have a folder and parent the attachment there and the same thing would go for a model I can simply just add another attachment into this one too. If I even wanted to, I could add something like an audio device input, which is a which is an instance that's completely not relevant to the 3D world, but I can basically just move the attachment into there too. And yeah, an important thing to note with these ones is that if the attachment is not going to be parented under a object within the 3D space, then its position and the rotation is going to be relevant to the world space, as you can basically see from it basically being in the world center right here. But yeah, that's basically the update, but you can actually do a lot of interesting stuff with this one. One of the things being that you can actually put the attachment under the camera, where if I parent this one, right now it's going to be right inside of the camera's position, so I'm kind of looking from inside of the attachment, where if I hover over the screen right here, you can see that it has the attachment pop-up. So I'm just going to go to the transfer MDC frame and change the position, I think on the Z-axis, to be on minus, for example, 4, or even 8 and of course make it visible where right now this attachment is going to be right in front of my camera at all times without any scripting where it's even going to be updated in the properties where the position is going to be a bit different because I already changed the C-frame of the attachment but if I were to go to the orientation it's going to be minus 17 by 21 by 0 and if I go to the camera it's also going to be minus 17 by 21 by 0 so yeah like I said previously the attachment's position is only going to be relative to an instance that's rendered in the 3D world where a camera for example is one of these instances but yeah from right here you can do anything like add a point light add a particle emitter or even add a beam and Right now you can see one of the issues that I'm going to be talking about later in the front post <laughs> where the particle emitter is not going to be updating. But yeah, if I were to add another attachment and I'm going to be moving this one out on the Z and X axis, I'm going to be able to connect a beam to them. And this is again going to be done without the need of base parts. So you don't need to have a run service function that's going to have a part that's going to be related to the camera's position. And also there is currently a behavior that an attachment doesn't going to be parented under a base part is going to be counted as massless meaning that if i were to add a base part to the workspace add an attachment right here and for example add something like a ball socket constraint then select the attachment 0 to be the parts attachment and then attachment 1 to be the camera's attachment you can see that there is no constraint connection and this is because this part is going to be having physics properties that the constraints are going to operate on while this attachment on the other hand is going to be a detached attachment and is not going to be working with the ball socket constraints and also I just noticed that the point light is also kind of not working properly but I think they might have also mentioned this on the dev forum but I'm not sure anyway I'm actually just going to check right now and also give you a little bit more information on the update from it so let's just go there right now and here is the dev forum post about the beta attachments no longer require a base part aka detached attachments where a roblox staff of the name really long arms gave an update about few different things that I'm Going to come back into later but anyway here they're saying that hey creators we've got some good news about attachments you probably know them you probably use them but if not they have some need uses attachments are a way to position something relative to something else they can be used to constrain parts or emit particles sounds and other effects so hey, if you have ever done vfx and sfx then you have probably used attachments too but continuing attachments have been around for quite a while in fact they've been around for such a long time that they finally grown up to move out of their parents house 
Ghost. Okay, this FOC is made in a bit of a joking manner, I see. Where they have also like included this meme right here. But yeah. And that's right. With all the new detached attachments beta feature, attachments can be parented to anything. And as you have probably worked with the attachments already, you can probably just see this one as being quite a big deal. But yeah. Parenting to workspace, we got you covered. Folders and models, by all means, go ahead. The only limit is your imagination. Please parent responsibly. And yeah, right here we basically just have few examples of the sound effects and visual effects attachments being parented to folders. And like they said previously, why has this been a case for such a long time? Like, this is much better than having like additional base parts for VFX and sound effects. I like, couldn't they just do this one like way earlier or anything but i guess it's a good thing that we finally have it and there is also a point about what's changing and i want to retain the spirit of what attachments are supposed to do these are 3d points related to something else so even though attachments don't have to be descendants of a base part anymore, their position and rotation will still be relative to their first ancestor, that is the PV instance or an attachment if one exists. And this means that the attachments can travel alongside models and cameras. These are PV instances now, and more without any scripting required. So yeah, this is a pretty neat thing. And here, if an attachment has no suitable ancestor, then its position and rotation will be in world space, meaning it's only going to have the world coordinate. Note however, Constraints can only act as physical objects, and attachments that don't have a base parent ancestor will be treated as having no mass, and constraints connecting these will be deactivated. So this is just something that you kind of have to keep in mind. And when is this going to exit beta? And changing the behavior of attachments could break code that assumes attachments have an ancestor part, or rather ancestral part. If you try this out and find something amiss, please let us know. And here they are basically just asking for feedback, and they just want to move it out as soon as they can, while making sure that nothing is going to break. But yeah, going back to the update that was made recently, there is just some information right here like a problem where lights don't seem to render when parented to an attachment that's not parented to a non-base part. And the attachments travel correctly under a camera, but if I put a particle emitter under the attachment, it doesn't move to the attachments until updated. And the move tool, or draggers, don't work with detached attachments, and fixed flags for these should be going out in the next studio release. So yeah, depending on when you are watching this video, you might be encountering these problems. So it's going to be best for you to check the dev forum post in the description, and for example see if anything has changed. But yeah, there is also some interesting points that people have been making and <laughs> yeah, that's a funny meme. People are mostly being happy about this update, so it's kind of like a rare Roblox W. But yeah, that's going to be everything for this deform post. But yeah, that's basically going to be everything for this video too. So again, if you like and subscribe to support the channel, also check out my Patreon page. And also some quick info for the Patreon members. I have released an alpha version for the intercom system, and it's available for anyone who bought the previous one too, under the old intercom post. But yeah, that's going to be everything for this video again. So thanks everyone for watching, hope you had a nice day, and see ya guys.